we saw a lot of very narrow votes in the current parliament on, for example, the six-pack. Um, I don't know whether, the, with the new makeup of the parliament, we're going to this parliament will be less likely to support those type of things. We're going to see battles over TTIP. Um, the radical left and the radical right are going to be much less pro free trade agreement with the U.S. Um, than the current parliament is. And we're going to see a large group of MEPs who are in favour of changing some elements of the free movement of people. And I think there's going to be a lot of MEPs who are going to try and put pressure on that. And I can think of some key issues where well, there were some really tight votes. It was a really tight vote on maternity leave. It was a really tight vote on, on um, ACTA. It was a tight vote on, on the six-pack. It was, uh, there, were, there was an interesting vote on the EU-Korea free trade agreement where the socialists were split on free trade. So there's, a, there's a, a, some series of issues where a, diff, a parliament that looks different in the way that we, said, we think right now it's going to look different, there could well be some different policy outcomes in the next parliament, and we're going to look at that in vote watch as we go forward.